Hi guys, let's learn Heart Attack by Demi Lovato. And the song basically has five sections which pretty much repeat twice. And then in addition to that, you also have a bridge which I've written down below. And you also have an intro section which is very similar to the build up section which I've marked here. So let's just understand how we've broken up each of the sections. So you have the verse. That's your verse. Okay. I'll break that down for you later, of course. And then during the pre-chorus, this is what happens. Chorus. And that happens twice. After that, we go to the build up. Heart attack. So, when the heart attack verse, uh, words come into the song, which he repeats. I've marked out that part. Okay. So actually, I think what's nice is let's do it from the catchy part, from heart attack going up. And this part or the heart attack part is really simple. It's six, four, one, five. What that means is in the A flat major scale, which is the one, it will be six, F sharp minor is a six, sorry, F minor is a six, four is D flat, one is A flat and E flat is 5. I would suggest that you write down the A flat major scale along with all its chords right away. Right? So anyway, here's the heart attack part or the main hook, you could say. A heart attack. Nothing but you can play two chords here and two chords here while you just do the root note of the chord. So it's two, one is to two, you could say. That's what I've written down a one is to two ratio. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and so on. You could also play a groove where you follow the drummer, where you could do something like This is also sort of like the strumming pattern of the guitarist, right? And so on. So let's see how that can be adapted on the piano, you could say. So you need to know the drum groove and the guitar pattern and automatically you can try and use your two hands to adapt and play something like that. If that fails, you could always go back to something which is tried and tested. Play two in the right hand while you play one in the left hand, right? Very nice for a lot of the pop songs out there. Okay, so let's now do the build up part or the intro part. So you could use it at the intro. It is used in the intro and it is used to take you to that heart attack part. So there you can play. Let me first go through the chords. Na, 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 na. So that's D flat major. Na. C minor, which is the three minor. Na, 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 na. Okay, so that's F minor. And B flat. That's a six going to two. Na, 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 heart attack. So you need to stop it there while the singer does that last build into the chorus on her own. So let's look at the build up again. D flat, C minor, F minor, B flat, A flat, stop. Got that? 
and on the piano you could perhaps do it with arpeggios so why don't you follow that pattern i'm playing d flat major in an inversion with the d flat on the top so that's a c minor but i'm adding the minor 7th which is b flat i think that sounds nice that's what's used in the song okay then we go to f minor which i'm playing with the triad and the c b flat minor a flat stop Let's look at that pattern again. Okay, let's do that again and play the root note of each chord in your left hand. we go to that other section which i taught right and there's a very very similar section where she does pretty much the same tune na 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 right so that's a very nice melodic part so i've called that the chorus because it's a very epic sounding thing So the chords for that are written wherever it says chorus and you can play the same groove you did where you did heart attack. So you have D flat A flat E flat E flat minor E E flat F minor sorry E flat F minor. So that's a quick change. 2212221. So you'll be playing D flat twice A flat twice E flat twice, E flat F minor. This is a very quick change, and then na 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 na. This is four times two, three, four. So this is two, one, one. This is four counts. So that's how I write the chords generally. If you take this, it'll be for four counts. Sorry, if you take this, it's for two counts, two, two, and this is half of that, so it's one, one. Two, two, and here you have extended two plus another one of this. So let's look at the chorus again. Na 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 na. D flat, na A flat, na na. Right? Brilliant. And now you have the pre-chorus of the song, uh, which. you know comes after the verse so actually let's now do the verse and the pre chorus as one package okay so verse i'm doing the verse and then the pre chorus so the verse is basically block chords which you just play and then lift your hand whenever the snare drum is hit so whenever the drummer hits the snare drum you should not play okay so you should lift your piano at that particular point the chords for the verse are So the two chords where you have to be aware of the snare drum are the first and the third D flat and off at the snare E flat off F minor D flat off A flat E flat off F minor and so on and also note that the second and fourth chords have a property where they start at the and of the three so that's 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 so 1 and 2 so lift your right hand at the 2 or lift both hands at the 2 and strike a flat at the 3 and play e flat at the 1 of the next bar lift it at 2 play f minor at the 3 and of the next bar let's look at it 1 and 2 and Three and four and one and two and three and four and with the left hand playing the roots of the chord as always. Lift, 
and so on then we go to the pre chorus which is serving as yet another build up in the song so there we go d flat a flat e flat f minor d flat a flat e flat e flat and back to na 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 d flat a flat e flat na 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 this part i showed you earlier right so d flat and na 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 a flat e flat a ta na na f minor d flat a flat E flat. So the first time we do this pre-chorus, you end it with E flat, E flat. The second time we do the pre-chorus, you end it with C, and you sort of stop here to build up that anticipation going to the chorus. So let's look at that. D flat, A flat, E flat, F minor, D flat, A flat, E flat, and then the second time. Second line, A flat, C major, da na na. Right. So the intro is the exact same thing as the build up, same chords. Na 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 na. Heart attack. And then you have a bridge section, which is pretty much the same chords as you've used earlier. It's just that. the chords last longer so they last for four counts so you go d flat so four times four beats each chord and f minor d flat a flat and then c Right, so that's about the song. Uh, a very interesting pop song with a lot of interesting chord progressions and a lot of dynamics throughout. So I've written down quite a few patterns you can try on the piano. So try to uh, execute it as best as possible. And another final groove you can try out is to play fifth chords in the right hand. So if you take A flat major for instance the, as the scale. can just take the fifth chord and just play it either as an arpeggio or you can play it together right so this will work really well with the pre chorus and the build ups na 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 de ra ro you could play the chords then in your left hand if you can if not you could play the roots of the chord If you're playing the whole chord, try to play it a little around middle C, so it doesn't sound very muddy there, right? So on, so fifth chord arpeggios or just fifth chords in general will work really well for this song. So try to spice things up with different patterns throughout the song, and that's what exactly happens in the original. There are a lot of different patterns, but very similar chords, very popish chords. That means they all come from the major scale, and in this case, it's A flat major. And if you feel that this scale is not for you, if your singer is not able to do it, or if you find it tough to sing, perhaps you could. transpose the same chords and 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 do the needful right so hope you found that lesson useful as always do subscribe to our youtube channel for a lot more cheers